Spotify Wrapped is a thing that most people talk about for, I don't know, most of the month of December. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many different ways to slice up everything, but we figured, you know, we'd at least touch on it on the channel here. Uh, my five artists would never surprise anyone ever, so I didn't want to even bother <laughs> doing a video on that. Uh, but with yours, I think you have a good mix of people, so I thought we'd talk about uh, your top five and a little bit about each artist. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't think mine are all that surprising either, if I'm being completely honest with myself and you. But um, my number one, ooh, and my my number one is uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Obviously, mm -hmm. I'm proud to say that I'm in the top um, 0.5 percent of Weird Al Yankovic listeners. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I've done better. But. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing about it was the uh, personal message that Weird Al recorded yeah. for uh, the people who had listened to him a lot on Spotify. And uh, I'm sure a lot of artists did that. I don't know because all of most of the artists in my top five have passed, so they yeah. you know they wouldn't have been able to. But uh, the Weird Al one, the best thing about it, if you haven't seen it or heard about it, is that he just directly insults Spotify while he's making a video for Spotify. For Spotify, he's one of the. I was going to say one of the few, but he's probably like the only guy who could get away with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, uh, going on to your second one is a guy who has a hand in a whole bunch of different type of stuff, but you listen to one particular thing from him a lot. A lot, yes. Electric Light Orchestra. And, you know, I think I've said on this channel before that um, when I was kind of going through like what my top five favorite songs were, right. I knew I wanted to have an ELO song on the list and Spotify wrapped um, the song uh, Waterfall made my Spotify wrapped every single year. And it made my top five again, yeah, again this year. So I'm like, well, yep, that's that's the song there. Uh, the next one is one that I think isn't mm -hmm. a big surprise, but I would guess, and I, I'm sure it doesn't divvy it up this way, but uh, it, over this past year, I would say you probably listened to older material from this, more older material from this band than usual. Yes, more than usual. Um, Van Halen, and I am definitely by nature a, I prefer Sammy Hagar, uh, but I've come to over the past year appreciate what david lee roth had to offer to the the band yeah so. you know i did a video on the channel a long time ago uh right around the time that king edward passed where i was like you know my whole life it's a lot of us have grown up in sammy versus dave and dave versus sammy and isn't gary sharon a joke well first of all gary sharon's not a joke and second of all you know the, even before edward passed my whole thing was you just get old enough to where you're like but why does it matter though you right, know? it doesn't. And my big thing from that video, for those who haven't seen it, is if you grew up, like Lauren grew up a huge uh, Sammy Hagar fan of that era, right? There's so much more to appreciate that, like even if you even if you don't care for Dave still, if it's mm -hmm. if you don't care about all oh, wow, and, yeah. you know, and all that, like there's so much more to what uh, Michael and and Alex and Eddie were doing, right? Uh, now with you, you happen to be like, oh yeah, Dave's more entertaining than I thought he was, right? Right, right. Yeah, it, it didn't take. But me much. even if you're not, mm -hmm. even if you hear more Dave, you go, no, it's still not for me. You should still really listen to all the other stuff. Yeah, and the same goes for Hagar or, or Roth fans too. If you're like, I don't care about why this can't be love and why uh, don't tell me what love can do and love walks in and all and I, I understand those complaints, but you're missing out on so much that the mm. other three guys did yes. later. So uh, stepping off of my Van Halen soapbox and directly onto another artist that I have a gigantic soapbox for that I will darn near stand on street corners and preach to people about this artist. And I feel like although you knew of him, uh, I feel like I have had an influence on how much more. Oh, yeah, yeah, to. for sure. Um, it's Prince, and Prince's, like, kind of wider catalog has seeped its way into my Spotify listening, you know? So, like, if I, I looked through, and, um, you know, because they, they make the, the hundred yeah, yeah. songs, and there's not, like, a like a Purple Rain or, like, a big hit kind of deal on yeah. there. It's all kind of... Well, I think with you, one thing that kind of surprised you is the diversity involved in Prince's catalog mm -hmm. that most people don't know yeah. about, you know? Um, th this is going to be old hat for many of you who have been on the channel a long time but I, the, the example i always give is the album parade alone i'm not you know this i'm not the guy that goes oh kiss sucks because it's the biggest single but kiss is the worst song on that record mm. and the rest of that album is so different so different than that yeah. song mm -hmm. uh you know and so i think a lot of stuff that i've played for you you've been, i think even on the same prince album before you've been like is this, this still the same prince album you know because yeah, it's, it's a lot that diverse uh the last one on your list will shock absolutely no one. Uh, but this is also, I will say, while this artist I don't think is anywhere near, near as diverse as Prince, uh, I will say because of you, I've heard a lot more than I would have before. Okay. 
Yeah, Billy Joel. And um, I, I think he has made my Spotify top five almost every year, too. Um, just like personal data, this is the first year Stevie Nicks hasn't made my top five, oh, oh. which is... Well, well Prince probably Prince would probably, think yeah. you're out, yeah, mm-hmm. which is funny because they work together. Yeah. yeah, so I thought that was pretty interesting. But yeah, you know, um, Billy Joel just kind of always there. He's a... Him and ELO are kind of like my two warm blanket yeah. kind of things, and I got my dad to thank for one and my mom to thank for the other. So You know, uh, another thing about Stevie falling out of your top five, too, might have to do with and uh, shameless plug for content on the channel but mm. uh the vinyl box set it's, that came yep. out, i bet you listen to a lot more on vinyl this year than you would have normally yes of stevie mm-hmm. right yep good point uh, so those are lauren's five top uh artists that were on her spotify rap this year uh from what i've seen on social media over the past month before this video comes out uh everybody in the world wants to share their spotify rap so please leave a comment <laughs> yeah. uh, below let us know what you think of uh lauren's picks uh if you if you're interested in mine you could probably you could probably guess mine uh, but if you're interested in mine, I can list them in the comments uh, or you personally tell us maybe what Lauren touched on, like maybe who's an artist that uh, fell out of your top five for you or somebody that came into your top five uh, that you're surprised. Drop a comment because that's the thing we love the most on the channel. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.